105.5 WYTM. Tracy, we've got a special guest in the studio with us, someone that, uh, well, if you don't know him yet here in Lincoln County, you'll you'll certainly know him soon. Absolutely. Fantastic guy. We've been talking to him. And, Mr. Uh, Andy Pope. He's the Director of Operations of Aaron's. Right How are you guys Pope? doing today? Hey, well, you know, we are outstanding. <laughs> we're excited to have you here. We're excited to be here. Excited to be here in the community in general. And we're going to talk all things errands today. Tell us about Aaron. Give us a little 100%. background. Yeah, so new to the area, right? But not new to the business, right? We're an outdoor power manufacturer. We've been around since 1933. So we're actually celebrating our 90th anniversary this year. So not new at all I'm around the world and around the country. But from our standpoint of things, it's new to Fayetteville. We've been around to a sense of snowblowers, zero turn lawnmowers. We actually started with tillers. You know, that was our first product that we did make as a company. Kind of, you know, found our niche. That's what we do. And uh, we're excited to be in Fayetteville. And you do it well. We do it. We do it well. I'm a little biased. Uh, I've been with the company for about but for 14 a good years. reason. Yeah, yeah, I've been there for about 14 years. We have our two brands. We have the Aaron's brand, which is mostly our residential product, and then we have our Gravely line, which is actually what we'll be making down here, and that is um, all of our commercial product. And that's what I have. I have a Gravely. There you go. Why does and I don't want to put you on the spot, but Gravely. Why should somebody look at that over another brand? Yeah, absolutely. You'll never put me on the spot. I'll have, you know, it's really the quality. You know, we're a privately held company. The Aaron's family, that's the fourth generation right now with Dan. His kids are all involved in the company for the fifth generation. And we really strive for that quality product, right? We are never going to, you know, market ourselves as, hey, we're the cheapest brand out there, right? You're looking, of course, we have opening price points, right? That we have to hit on the residential side of the business, but you're really going to get a quality product, right? You want something that's going to last a lifetime. We have people every single year, they'll send us photos. It was... uh Actually, kind of funny. Here's a little off-topic story, but I went and got some strawberries right here in town. And a lady stopped me and she goes, oh, I have a Gravely. It's like 50, 60 years old. And she was telling me a story. We get that all the time. And it's just due to the the quality of our product. And that's really one thing we stress is you want something that's going to last. That's going to be an Aaron's or a Gravely. And you want something that's made in America. 100%. Mm-hmm. Made in America. You bet. I think for me as someone who's, I'm going to be on a mower once, twice, maybe, depending on what all I'm mowing three times a week. Yeah. And so you said something that hits home with me, something that's going to last when it's time to go. Yeah, I can jump on it and depend on it to go. And I don't have to worry about this, that and the other. Correct. I mean, and that's and that's the major thing for us. Right. You know, if it's a consumer like yourself or it's a landscape, you know, landscapers have a different mentality. That's that's my livelihood. That's how I make my money. Right. They need to be dependable. They need to be able to get on it. When you look at our dealer base. Right. We have the greatest dealers in the world across the entire country. They're all over the place they're going to keep those people up and running. I mean, that's the biggest thing that we look for is you're not just buying a mower, you're really buying into the family and you're a part of that family and you're a part of it. And that's how we look at all of our employees, right? It's, it's not just, hey, I go work there for 10 hours a day. It's what can we do? What, how can we help you? What are things we can do outside of this? Those are the big things that we try to look at as a company. Well, speaking of family, just inside story. Yeah. You said been here 14 years? 14 years. I started when I was in high school. Started in high school. I have visited out there a time or two. Yep. You hear that over and over and over with you that the people that start with you end with you they yeah. don't ever look for another job no we uh we have employees that have worked at errands for 55 years 50 years we've Amazing. had three four generations at a time work for our company and it's something we pride ourselves on it, it really is i know i keep hitting home on that but it, it it truly is i mean i started when i was a high school senior worked out on the floor got an internship interned throughout my entire college career started full-time and i've been here ever since and don't plan on going anywhere anytime soon right it's something we really try to invest in the employees hey it's What do you want to do? What is your next step? Do you need education, classes? You know, how can we work with you? Those are the biggest things that we try to invest in our employees and try to give back to them as much as we can, right? I mean, we have expectations and things that we need to do as a company. Absolutely. It's not just about work. It's that family orientation and trying to do the best thing for the employees as much as we can. You are doing a lot of investing, not just for your employees, not just for Aaron's company, but for the community. Let's talk about that for a little bit. Yeah. So what a lot of people probably don't know is obviously, you know, being up in Brilliant, we've 90 years like I said before, and we've done a lot of things up there. We have a Nordic center that we just built up there. Class of the Art, I think it's like the third one in the entire country, you know, from our standpoint of things. We have the Stone Prairie, Round Lake Farms. We actually just built a daycare for our employees. So, right, that daycare kind of fluctuates with uh, our employee schedule so they can get people in there. Those are all things that we want to implement down here. Can't do it overnight. I wish I could. I wish I could sit here and be like, oh yeah, we're going to do that within the next 12 months. It's not realistic. So trying to uh, dictate what's important to people down here, what are like the pain points, 
How can we help? And we're doing a few things already. We're looking at, you know, investments in with the high school. A little insider information. We're going to give a more to the uh, high school tomorrow. You know, donate a more to those guys. So we're looking at weld school opportunities. There's a lot of things that are coming at us very, very quickly. And we're going to try and do everything we can to kind of invest back into the kids because that next generation is, is what we need. Mm. It's what we all it's need, right? Future. So the yeah. more trades we can teach them and get them more involved in the company, that's what we want to do. Andy Pope is our guest here from Aaron's company. What type of job opportunities do you have right now available? You want a job, we'll find a home for you, right? I mean, it's... Uh predominantly on the manufacturing side of things. When you think about anything to do with fab, right? If you're looking for laser operators, press brake operators, machining operators, welders, assemblers, custodians, forklift drivers, pretty much have anything that you're looking for from a manufacturing side of the building. We're really, we started, a, we had a job fair. Might get the date wrong here. I'm going to say three weeks ago, two weeks mm-hmm. ago, had roughly about 450 people show up. We're getting through that first wave of those, right? There'll be another wave coming on. We always have the opportunity here and we're trying to grow as much as we can, as quickly as we can, but there's a, uh, uh, there's job openings all around. So what if I want a job, but I know nothing? We'll teach what you. you would, uh, yeah, that's what 100%. I want to know. Yeah, 100%. So we'll, uh, we have people every single day, right? They're like, hey, you know, maybe high school, maybe, hey, I've been working for 20 years outside of this industry doing something completely different. We will give you the task, right? It's not, hey, come in, here's orientation, good luck on the line, right? That's that's not what we want to instill in people. So we'll invest in that time, right? We'll have somebody train with that employee. We'll have them. This is what you normally will see on a day-to-day t- standpoint, the way to go through it safely and do your job. And the biggest thing we preach on our side of things is the way you walk in is the way you walk out. We're going to put in every single safety precaution we can. We can't stop everything. You know, people are still people. There's human error. But at the end of the day, we're going to train people as much as we can to make sure they can do their job safely. Andy, I wonder if there's somebody out there listening and they're loving what you're hearing and they've said they, they're they here. Well, they've already had a job fair. If somebody wants to apply, yeah. can they come in to apply? How does how does that work? 100%. So uh, if you go to aaronscocareers.com, that'll probably be the easiest way for you to apply for a job. But they're always welcome to come inside, right? We'll have people there starting next week or later this week. Um, we'll have people in that building 20 hours a day. So from that standpoint of things, we run uh, two 10-hour shifts is what we do only four days a week. So Monday through Thursday, Fridays are off. We run four 10-hour schedules and that's what we do there. But they have the best opportunity for them is probably online. But hey, if they don't have access to a computer, cell phone, whatever it is, come on by. Friday's off. Friday's that, off. That's Friday's pretty big off. deal. That's, that's a pretty big deal. Absolutely. <laughs> one, Absolutely. One more thing. Yeah. Talk about putting you on the spot. And we talked about it a little bit before the show. What do you have planned with the hospital? Hospital. Um, can we so, talk about that? Uh, we, we can talk about it, right? Um, I'm not letting the cat out of the bag. So we do it in Brilliant today. What we do today is we partner with Bell & Health, who's up in Wisconsin. They basically are in our manufacturing building 20 hours a week. We'll say that's kind of where it's dictated right now. When you think about the nurses, when you think about ergonomics, you think about physical therapy, we will physically have people in our building that are not Aaron's employees and that are medically trained from the hospital. We'll partner with them, but they will be in our building, right? So the employees, the employee's family, they have access to them. So it's a sense of, hey, just not feeling very well, right? Right? I can do that checkup right there. I'm not driving somewhere. I'm not having to take time off of work, whatever it might be. You can walk up right into our nurse's room and get that taken care of right there. So it's really exciting. Feels like from uh, the conversations that I've had, it's fairly new to the area, but it's something that we've done for quite an extended period of time and we're super excited to implement it. Well, we're excited to have, to have you guys in Fayetteville and you in Fayetteville. And uh, we know that uh, it's a great partnership with the city and the county and you guys and just excited to have you here. Yeah, and we're excited to be here. I mean, you guys uh, have open, you know, open arms, welcomed us here. Here, right. I was talking to you guys earlier. Uh, I wish we'd always do the right thing um, and we're going to strive to do the right thing. But uh, there's going to be some hiccups and uh, things that we're going to learn from the culture and, you know, where we are right now. But we're excited to be here. We're glad the town is excited to have us. And I say we're celebrating 90 years in Brilliant today. Hopefully when I'm long gone, somebody else can come on the radio and say, hey, we're celebrating 90 years in Fayetteville, Tennessee. So That'd be right awesome. Here. Is there anything else you want to share that we haven't talked about? No, I think we touched on the the major things mm. uh, from our standpoint of things. Really, it's I just want to hit home again about the family side of the business, right? Yeah. I strive to that with the employees that started at Aaron's already. A lot of people that know me, that is one thing that I will, you know, it is family oriented. That is, that is a big difference that the Aaron's company really gives you the opportunity to do is it's not just a job. It's not just, you know, four 10 hour shifts a day or um, a week, right? It's, I feel more involved. We're going to do things outside of work. How do we get people involved? What are scholarships we can give to high school kids, right? To get them invested in it. Those are big things that, you know, we strive for as a company and that's things we're going to implement down here. Welcome to the family is what I have to say. Absolutely. <laughs> Andy, thank you very much. Thank you guys very much. Appreciate you guys having me. Open door anytime. Uh, we'd love to have you. Absolutely. Thank you very much. All right. That is Andy Pope right there from Aaron's company. And uh, again, go to their website and uh, click on the careers. Correct. Uh, and if you uh, want to apply, that would be the best way to do it. Be the